It's pretty amazing how few doctors are aware. I just wish that more people maybe knew about it, maybe more doctors. My nurse never knew about it, and she wanted to find out more about it. I went to the rheumatologist, I said, I want it amputated. I can't handle the pain anymore, I'm tired of it. If the finger is gone, then the pain will be gone eventually. She asked me to be patient. I told her at that point, I said, I will try one more, one more therapy. It was bad. I had very bad nerve pain in my leg. I would take different medications and nothing was really doing anything. I was pleading for them to please do something, you know. My wound was not healing. Um, so I get ulcers on my fingers. I had an ulcer on my finger that was there for a year. It was to the bone and it would not heal. Um, there was no quality of life. I couldn't do all those things I love to do. Like, I was definitely worried that I was going to lose my toe. I was being told that you're likely going to lose your toe. Uh, but they thought it would be worth my while to see Dr. Evans. And, and then they're tired of being sick. And, and we're really fortunate that we have this wonderful tool, hyperbaric oxygen therapy, which allows us to rehabilitate their, their tissue, stimulating new tissue formation and waking up tissue that's forgotten how to do some wear and tear chores and they actually need to be stimulated so that it starts acting more normal and they can actually start to behave and, and celebrate all these uh, wonderful returns to normal. Since I've been coming here, and I've had about 20 treatments now, um, I've had good results that I see. Change was almost immediate once I started the, the hyperbaric treatment. Uh, pain level dropped dramatically within a couple of days from when I started. Um, my first visit here, Dr. Evans, he did say, he says, we don't know if it will work. He says, the only thing we can do is try. He says, give it three or four weeks, we'll notice a difference, or we'll, we won't. We'll evaluate it at that time. I think it was 20, 21 dives, started to notice a difference, it started to heal. As they, as they regain some of their former cells as far as their physical capacity and, and getting rid of some of the problems that, that they've come here with. They improve their mental capacity if they don't have to manage so many medical problems. And they don't have to worry as much and they don't have as much pain. The most important thing is that doctors have to be aware of it uh, because it's going to be harder for the patients to be aware of it. Uh, so it's really got to start with the doctors, I think. Physical therapies that don't have a, a natural industry partner uh, tend to struggle more in our healthcare system than others. I have taken brochures from here and given it to her. I've taken brochures and given them to my doctor and different people because I think it's a worthwhile thing for people to try. And my nurse has seen a difference from when they do it when I've been in here, when I'm not in here. So we've got big expectations for it. Um, but this, the hyperbaric oxygen therapy, is the one that actually gave me my life back. Because everybody else, you know, doctors say, here's a pill, here's a pill, here's a pill. Well, this, you don't need a pill. You just need time and patience.